The first coach I am pleased to introduce has been coaching since 1983. He served as Grambling's running back coach and previously had served in the same position at North Carolina A&T University, his alma mater, where he still ranks among the top 10 of the running back list. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the interim head football coach of Grambling State University, George Ragsdale. Well, first of all, I'd like to say good afternoon to everyone, and it's a pleasure to be here. You know, part of a, such a big event. You know, as I was sitting here listening to everything going on, now I, I realized that I heard Prairie View being notarized first. <laughs> you know, three times that I heard somebody come up here and mention Gramlin Prairie View game. Everyone, most of them came up here and said Prairie View Grambling came. Now, as I was growing up, you know, and listening to football in, in Baltimore, Maryland, is my home. You know, I used to all the time, the HBCUs, we knew were Grambling and Morgan State. You know, I said, my, how time has changed. But, you know, um, one of the driving forces that I have as being Grambling's head coach now is to get Grambling back at number one. And uh, I know that's going to be, be a monumental task, but I'd like to think that uh, I'm, I'm ready for the task. And uh, I know Coach Height, he's been uh, a great coach, and he also came through the Grambling ranks, but now he has his own program to, to nurture and, and develop. But um, not to do a lot of talking, and uh, you know, like uh, Coach said to me, I don't know how much joking the people want to hear, but I'm not a jokester. Okay, so I'm going to say that um, I'm proud for us to be here, and uh, I think that we're going to represent the Grambling very well. So um, I'm looking forward to being here and having a great game. Thank you very much. Coach Ragsdale, thank you, and we look forward to the Grambling State University and Prairie View football game on Saturday at 4.30. In his first year of head coaching in 2011, he led his team to within one game of the SWAC championship, championship game berth. Now in his 17th year of coaching, including seven at Grambling State University, he is ready. In 2010, he was one of 15 national coaches selected to participate in the NCAA prestigious Champions Forum. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the head football coach of Prairie View A&M University, Heishma Northern. That's a great introduction. I'm going to have to get him to follow me around everywhere I go now. Uh, first of all, let me bring greetings from Prairie View A&M University, a hill uh, where we produce productive people. Uh, I cannot start off with thanking them for giving me the opportunity of a lifetime, and I truly do mean the opportunity of a lifetime. I want to give thanks to the uh, Marine Corps. Uh, I had a chance to go visit out there in their leadership training a couple of years ago in uh, Quantico, Virginia. And uh, that, that's a profound experience for me. My parents are both military people, so I understand the, the importance of structure and discipline. Uh, earlier this year, I was talking to my team about relying on your training. And when I went out to spend a, about a week with them, you know, I asked uh, one of the officers, how do you keep people from in a war, just basically going around and shooting people, because it is a war, and I understand that. And he said, we train them. And that's what I talk to my players about. When things are going bad, you rely on your training, not your own understanding. So I want to thank the Marine Corps for giving me that opportunity to bring that back to my guys. I was also talking to uh, Mr. Walsh 
uh, he and I were together in Quantico, and I hadn't been out on the West Coast, wherever that is, so I want to let the Marine Corps, Corps know that I will make that trip out to the West Coast, and hopefully I can bring something else back to my family, uh, to my team. Uh, I also like to thank Southwest Airlines, and uh, you know they want to throw me in a ticket to fly somewhere, a couple of tickets to fly somewhere, I'm glad they take those as well. Uh, but, you know, I go back to what Coach, Coach Ragsdale said. I, I know him as Coach Rags. I've been knowing him pretty much since I got into college football. And uh, Coach Rags talked about, you know, why is Prairie View being mentioned first? Well, we the home team right now. So, you know, I, I'll take that. That's, that's why. So, but uh, I, I'm glad to be here. I know a lot of people know most of my family went to school at Grambling State University. I have several uncles that played there. Uh, my mother attended school, both my mother and my father, actually my younger sister, attended school there uh, while I was coaching. She's a graduate of Grambling, and I have a degree from Grambling State University as well. So I have to say thank you to them. I, 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 you know, I love living in Grand when I was there. I was a small town. I'm a country guy at heart. Love hunting and fishing. Uh, every summer, I take my son and we go on a, a, a mancation where we go to Gramlin and we go fishing uh, up there every summer and we enjoy ourselves. And actually, this was the first time that he was old enough to really get a chance to see the Eddie Robinson Museum. And I talked to him about my father-in-law who recently passed away, played football at Gramlin as well. And we talked about, uh, you know, what Coach Robinson did, and had it not been for Coach Robinson, you know, we probably wouldn't be having this game here. We would probably be in Gramlin having this press conference, right? Prairie View having this press conference. So I can't thank the Gramlin University and community for helping me get from where I was to where I am now. So I want to say thank you to the Gramlin alums here as well. Uh, but that was, that was great. Uh, you know, as soon as I get to my hotel room on yesterday, I turn on the Dallas Cowboys game, and the first per no, no, I'm not going to move. I'm not, I'm not an NFL fan, so I can talk about it. The very first play I see, lo and behold, is Jason Hatcher causing the quarterback to throw a bad pass, and they intercepted and run it back for a touchdown. Now, I was at Grand, and Jason came there as a wide receiver, and we begged and pleaded Coach Williams to move into the defensive side of the ball. Now I think he's going into about his eighth or ninth year uh, in the NFL. So I'm proud of him, you know, being a Grambling uh, guy. I can say I, I want to take credit for all that he's doing now, but I can't. But, you know, that's, like I said, you can't run from Grambling when you talk about football. Uh, but, you know, talking to Coach Rags, we got up this morning pretty early. And, uh, you know what, we're going through the same things. I look at Coach, you know, he's not an interim coach. I mean, he's the head coach at Grambling State University until he's so otherwise. But the, the things that we go through and talk about mentoring young men, I think the importance of that has gotten away from us as coaches and the fans as well. All they care about is X and O's, but you know they don't realize sometimes when I get up, and I know Coach does or has his coaches do it, I personally go check and make sure my team is in class. I personally go check and make sure my guys, if, if we think they have some issues, that we get counseling for those young men. So I don't want to want us to lose track of that we're doing the right thing yeah. uh, at both institutions. Like I say, it's the same problems, different mascots. It's, it's all throughout what we're doing. But I, I'm glad to be here on behalf of Prairie View and the University. Uh, I'm looking forward to making that ride uh, through the fairground once we get that police escort from our hotel. I, I wish that, you know, the fans can get a chance to see that and just the regular students can get a chance to ride that bus and get that police es escort and have people on both sides shaking their pom-poms and people don't, don't know what's going on. And you can hear people, you know, pointing at the bus, oh, that's the team that's playing in the football game. That's what I'm looking forward to on a Saturday night. And, and we get a chance to play it a little bit early. And I've been coaching in this game. I want to say I came to Grandland in 1997 or 1998. And I have yet to eat any food from the fair. So hopefully we'll play a little bit early. And maybe my wife or my sister, uh, depending on the outcome of game, would be nice enough to go get me something to eat uh, from the fair because I understand they do have some excellent food. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. I expect a hard-fought game. I know they've been having some struggles, and, and you know, you could say we're doing okay. Um, 
But at the end of the day, we want to go out there and put on a good show for our fans, alums, and, and just for the city of Dallas for opening their arms to us. You know, lately we've been a, we keeping blood pressure companies in business, a single handed at Prairie View, because we've been playing a lot of close games. We played a double overtime game, and uh, last week we played, and it came down to the very last play of the game for us to win the ball game. So, uh, you know, I'm going to buy me some stock in whatever blood pressure people take it, uh, because we single-handedly keeping them in business. So I, I don't want to do that. Uh, you know, everybody want us to make a prediction. I'm going to do the old John Madden thing. The, the team with the most points at the end of the game is going to win. And uh, I'll sit down and uh, take my seat. But I, would, I really do want to say thank you to everyone that's here. It's a, a great turnout. And uh, I look forward to it on Saturday, uh, making that ride and hopefully making a good ride out of the state fair as well. Thank you.